Six o'clock. Class time. I'm gonna let some vibes play for a second. While I get myself together. Let's see if somebody gonna come in the room today. We got, we got. Instagram telling me to hold on. And I can't. All right. Happy hump day, everybody. Today's topic is going to be about why you need a stylist. Yes. So today is about me and you. It's about you because you get to learn exactly why people say stylist, stylist, stylist. Because a lot of people I've learned just simply don't understand the purpose sometimes of a personal stylist. So, you know, you can't always expect people to know the same things that you know, especially, you know, when it comes to fashion, a lot of people are interested. It's not a thing that they prefer to do. So it's people like us who help those people out. So my first point that I put on our session was it helps you learn your personal style. I think that's one of the biggest things is that people don't know what their personal style is. And that can be for people who feel like they know fashion. And, you know, it really is, you never really know. Like, for instance, your personal style could be edgy um, and you like to wear gothic clothes let's say, um, so you wear a lot of black and stuff is really baggy, but you're really like 110 pounds. Like as far as your image is concerned, that kind of look doesn't work on you because you want something to kind of insinuate what you have. You don't want anything to just look like it's wearing you. You want to wear it. So that's one of the reasons why personal style and knowing personal style is important because you want to make sure that you look like your best self. And for the features that you don't have, like myself, I'm very short. <laughs> I know a lot of people think I'm taller than what I am because I always wear heels, but I am five feet even. So with that being said, it's a lot of stuff I can't wear. Um, really, even like what I have on now, this turtleneck is not suggested. But, you know, that's just what I want to do because <laughs> I also feel like the stripes and the direction that it's going in kind of makes me look stretched out y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that did it work did i what they say fulfill the assignment let me know <laughs> but yeah so personal style is something that a lot of people overlook because i know every day i do whatever i want to do because that's my style and that's what makes me me so the bigger thing is when you come to me and you want to have what we call personal style that we make sure that it still speaks to who you are. We don't want to recreate something that you don't want because the idea is to always do something as far as your style is concerned to make sure that it's something you can, you know, be sustained. You want to make sure that I'm able to come in your home, recreate your wardrobe, and it be something that when I leave your home, you'll actually pick the next day. A lot of times people have these things where they, you know, go on these ventures and they're like, okay, I want to style this thing. You get a whole bunch of clothes that kind of is speaking more towards your image that you desire and not your personal style. So that's just something to consider. Um, and with that being said, like I mentioned, my height. So with finding what works for your height and your size, that's always a cool thing because you want to make sure that you're wearing what's flattering. You know, you want to always represent yourself the best way you can and your wardrobe so i have a client or have a client right now and i'm super excited about it um she has a wardrobe that she's not the most comfortable with um and it's simply because she's not aware with what she should and should not wear for her body type she recently gained weight um and so that's thrown off the way she feels in her clothes she's not as confident so that's when i come in um, like I told my mom the other day, I really look at personal styling as me also being able to get my 
psychology side out. Like it's really a counseling session. A lot of times these people are going through things and it's my job to not just style you, but make sure that I'm catering to your needs and you know, the reason why we're here. So I think that that's another thing plug here. You know, when people say that they're stylists, you know, it's <laughs> more to it than just putting clothes together. It's actually creating a relationship with your clients because you want to make sure that they're feeling like they're in a safe space. Like you always want the space to be safe because if not, they're not going to be honest with you and you'll end up, thanks sis, end up having an image of about, or a capsule rather of like 10 different looks that the client will never wear. And because I take my job so seriously, I don't just want you to purchase or to just say yes to what I pick because I'm here. Like, I want you to actually love it. And Shamara's on here. She'll tell you, like, there's been times where I, you know, put stuff together for her. She wasn't absolutely comfortable. So then that's when we have to try to figure out alternatives. But I'm not going to be comfortable. I woke up the next morning like, so what's going on with the look? Like, I, I'm really that person. So that's another thing. You want to have a relationship with these people that you're calling your stylist. Is that something that you're willing to spend your money on? Because I know the issue with styling services is a lot of people look at, you know, they look at it as disposable income, you know, like, so I don't have to have a stylist. Like I can wear what I have and be perfectly fine. But the other side of it is, as I spoke about the other night, that's all tied to manifestation. So if you know that there's things that you're trying to do and you're trying to level up. And as I mentioned, that's me too, you know, just having to put clothes on. Like this is very new for me. I work from home before COVID. So this is all just like, but, I can't do that anymore. I have to step it up. And, you know, I have people in my circle that's like, okay, I, I see you. So, I mean, I'm glad my little change is working. And that's what I'm able to provide to you guys. It's more of a perspective um, that I have that we will be able to share. So that's another thing, too, that people understand the space that you're in. Because all of it is mental when it comes to fashion. It's, it's a whole mental thing. And my other um, point is to enhance your current wardrobe. So there's times where you might have some pieces that aren't horrible. Like I mentioned my client earlier, just put them together, you know, but that's simple for a person like me to say, and that's something that I understand. And that's where there's jobs for people like me, um, because a lot of people, they get overwhelmed. Some people just buy pieces. <laughs> a shoe, a random style and color when they know that's not their personality type or a crazy printed blazer and you have all these random items but your personality isn't daring enough to throw these prints and things of that nature together. So then you have a wasted wardrobe. So in cases like that, there again are my services where we go through your wardrobe and we look and see what basics or staples that we can pair with what you have to really create double the wardrobe. Cause now I'm actually giving you full looks with pieces that you already had. So you can't beat that. But that is also a service. And a reason why my last point was that your life will be less stressful. Like your life will be less stressful, especially if you have disposable income. But if you do not, it's worth the investment because it also makes your life less stressful. And that's more so targeted towards maybe working moms or working dads, people who don't really have the time to buy, but they enjoy looking the part. That's why you need a stylist. I'm telling you. So anybody on here have anything they want to say? Like I told you guys, this is a interactive course. Um, those are my points that I wanted to expand on in the event. Nobody said anything, um, but I definitely wanted to get some input on how you view stylists. Um, do you think that it's something worth investing in? And, you know, no comment. Well, I take personally, because I understand some people just simply don't get the purpose of styling or the pur purpose of getting a stylist. And the client that I just recently had is so amazing to kind of see where a person was and where they're at now and what they shared with you to kind of allow you to be like okay let's do this like i really want to change your life like seriously i really want to change your life like to me i call myself a life enhancer from your lifestyle to your wardrobe because you know over here in oxy world we provide experiences okay so that is what i had today um 
I don't see any questions or any comments, concerns, amens. <laughs> so, if you tuned in, thank you so much for watching. If you're tuning in at a later date, please let me know if you have any questions regarding personal styling with Oxymoron Fashion Sense or, you know, the wardrobe consultation where we comb through your wardrobe and figure out what's what. Yeah, I agree. I think that special occasions especially, and I just want to put a pin here, and that includes maternity shoots, guys. Um, I had to pull my, um, I call her my baby mama. I had to pull hers off on my own. She was very um, COVID cautious. Um, the photographer that we had last minute couldn't come because he was around people who had COVID. Um, she was, again, very sick. And I had to pull that off. But what I'm saying is <laughs> doing hair, makeup, wardrobe, all of that stuff, like, that's what a stylist does. Like, we have to pull it all together and sometimes be the glam team. So it's important to not just look for people who just like clothes. Like, it's so much more to it. Because, honestly, if it was as, as simple as that, like, there would be even more than the oversaturated amount that it is now in styling. But it's about relationship. And that is one of my pillars for Oxymoron Fashion Sense is that we build relationships. We get to know one another. Um, I have a questionnaire that I sent out before I even start consulting so that I'm aware of your likes, your dislikes. I tailor my experience to you. So yeah, that's personal styling. And happy Wednesday, guys. It's, it's almost the weekend, so stay encouraged.